why why did you choose micros? Why didn't you want to be the like the medium six king? I, I don't want to get cocky with it. You know? you oh gotta, yeah, you got to be humble. Okay, so you got to know your place. Oh, I see, I see. I'd rather be king of a small country than not be king at all. Welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 16 of the Bank Rolex Challenge. This episode is very special. We'll be going to the resorts world just in time for the first meetup game in two years. Brad Owen and Andrew Nemi are back. Follow the mugs on Facebook and you too can join. They're epic meetup games, a great time for all, great camaraderie. Let's go to resorts world and try to complete this Bank Rolex Challenge. Time to get into the poker. There's been quite a bit of pent up demand for Andrew and I to host a cash game event in town. The room is filled to the brim. Every one of the 27 tables is occupied, including 20 for the 2-5 meetup game. And one of the dealers brought donuts for everyone. People are in very high spirits. We have arrived at the Resorts World Hotel, Casino, Crockford's, Genting, Asian Conglomerate, Win Lookalike. Hopefully we get a seat right away. Nothing worse than waiting for a cash game, but it is what it is. It's 5.30 on a beautiful Friday in Las Vegas, 100 degrees. Let's get in there and build a monster stack. Mr. Boski, hello. I just wanted to wish you the best of luck with the 13K Bank Rolex Challenge. Can't wait to see it come to fruition. I hope I get to try it on. It's probably the only chance in my life I'll ever get to touch a Rolex. Uh, thanks so much and good luck. What blinds at? $2, $5. Chronic limper limps under the gun. Next person to act makes it $10. Is this limit? Next person flat calls. I flat call. Pocket fives on the button. $10. A bargain at the 2-5 limit. Viewer of the vlog on my left calls. Folds around to the under the gun limper who raises to $70. The oldest trick in the book. He's setting it about $1,000. Other guys fold. Of course, I'm going to put in the call. Try to set mine. Feel the pure euphoria of flopping a set and stacking this under the gun limp razor. And then the unthinkable happens. The small blind raises. After calling 10, he now makes it $280. What the hell is he repping? Action folds around to the limper, who I assume has aces or kings, and he folds. I have pocket fives. The small blind has $450 behind. Do I just jam? I do a little speech play like my boy William Kasuf. He's given up nothing. He says he wants to gamble. I say, what's your repping? He says, you got a call to find out. I go against my gut and fold pocket fives, and he shows me do seven. Do seven. We're playing some poker here at Resorts World. Special guest. Brad Owen and Andrew Nemi are here in attendance. Seven deuce, got him. Bluff post D. These are two five games with a $200 minimum buy-in up to $1,200. We got Jeff Boski in the house. Hey Jeff, say hi to Poker News Instagram. How's it going? Like, subscribe, comment. Like, follow, <laughs> follow Jesse Pullen on all social medias for update poker news. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. How's it, how's it going over here? Great table, great atmosphere. Come to Resorts World. Brad and Andrew bring out all the whales. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Love it. All right, I'm really hungry. Let's dig in. Where's the rest of it? 40 bucks. Grown ass man. What is it? With blinds at. $2, $5, $10, a very lively table at these Brad Owen, Andrew Nimi meetup games. We got $25 bomb pots every half hour. We got straddles, we got blind raises, under the gun limps, same guy, incredible. Folds me on the cutoff. I have Ace King offsuit. I make it fifty dollars to go. Button, who's played over half the hands and is here to gamble, as he says, puts in the call. And the original limper calls with three ways to a flop of King Ten Eight, two diamonds. Original limper checks. I check, assuming the button is always going to bet this. He's been batshit insane. So top top looks great to me. We check.
check to the button and he checks behind. What the hell's going on? The turn's a queen. Uh, board's getting more wet. Ace Jack gets there. Jack Nine gets there. A lot of two pair combos. Under the gun checks. I check again. Button checks. Pretty uneventful. A lot of checking going on. Rivers of three of diamonds, bringing in the flush. I had a bit of a timing tell on the under the gun guy who's chronically limping. Same guy. He thinks about it for a long time and shoves all in for $141. Uh, just under a pot size bet, no big deal. We vastly underrepped our hand. What's he bluffing with though? That's the question. I don't know. I go back to level zero thinking. I got top, top. Let's put in the call. Button folds, ace queen, and the shover shows pocket nines for fourth pair. He did have the jack nine blockers. And we eliminate a player. Oh, no, just kidding. He reloads. And we scoop a nice pot. We're in Profitville. Let's keep it going. Look at this carpet. What is this? Still shedding. Quick update at the Resorts World 2-5 game. We have not needed to add on so far. That's a good thing. In for 1,200, up to about 1,700 after a few pretty nice hands. $1,730 is the profit needed to lock up the Bank Rolex Challenge tonight. I'm not gonna force it, but we're gonna play to win. We're gonna play winning cash game poker. We're gonna make profitable decisions. There is no chip EV. This is straight cash money, homie. That's right. $5 is worth $5. There's no ICM. This is not a tournament, but the value of reaching that $13,000 profit milestone will be priceless and will be represented by a beautiful timepiece that I will cherish forever. Let's get back in there, stay focused, and let's get that Rolex. In this hand that was captured and shared on Twitter by Jesse Fullen with Poker News, fellow poker vlogger Jeff Boski opens from first position and we defend with the Ace-10. Action checks all the way down the river on a board that favors my range much more so than his. So we decide to slide out a bet of two times the pot here. Jeff says, you know what I have. I guess ace king in the moment and it's essentially the same thing he shows us the ace jack and mucks it which gives us an opportunity to deliver a successful bluff to mr boski glad we invited this guy i mean you know what i got one hand later jeff gets his revenge when he opens pre-flop and checks back top pair on the flop i fall into the trap and bet the turn, which he calls, but I do at least find a check fold on the river before getting shown the goods. Not sure who invited this guy and his future Rolex wearing self. With blinds at $2, $5. Under the gun limps, same guy, always limps. Doesn't have an open raising range, has a limp calling, limp folding, and limp back raising range. Really bizarre, to each his own. Folds around to me on the button, I look down at pocket jacks. Could make it 25, but eh, we're on the button, we'll make it 20 to go. Both the blinds call and the limper calls. All right, hopefully there's no overcarts. Four ways to a flop of seven, six, three. Looking pretty good to me. Checks around to me. I'm bad at math. I wanted to bet half pot. Instead, I bet $30. Eh, what's the difference? Small blind wants to teach me a lesson. It makes it $140. The old check raise on the seven high board from the blinds. Pretty scary. He's got uh, all the sets, maybe even a few straights, maybe some combo draws. There's two diamonds out there. The plan is to call this Munson, but guess what? The big blind puts in the flat call. Just cold calls 140. Under the gun limper folds, it's back to me. What do you do with pocket jacks here? We fold, we sniffed out a set, possibly two pair, maybe a combo draw, we're praying to be ahead. There's two more cards to come. They're probably gonna be scary, unless it's specifically an offsuit jack. Moral of the story, action gets the showdown. Guy goes bet, shoves river. The river was an offsuit jack. The guy ended up having queen jack of diamonds. He was semi bluffing with the flush draw, somehow just still barreled off and barreled the river top pair for value and the other guy folded. So uh, yeah, we woulda, woulda won that one. But hey, that's poker. I'm a tournament player. What the f do you want from me? <laughs> I have been studying the Raise Your Edge live cash game course a lot. My man says a lot of important things 
regarding the live cash game metagame. Player types, frequencies, tendencies, knowing your ranges, knowing what hands are good to flat versus three bet, what type of opponents to flat or three bet against in a given lineup respecting position or disrespecting position depending on when the raise is coming from the button or if it's coming from under the gun check out the raise your edge cash game mastery course my promo codes are in the description below sign up today use my codes and save money don't be a sucker don't pay retail it is worth it but if you can save some money there's no reason not to Seven, six, three. Looking pretty good to me. With blinds at $2, $5, the chronic limper limps under the gun. Next act makes it 20. Middle position calls 20. Folds to me in the small blind. I look down at pocket queens. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Three bet's gonna be standard here. Put a little spice on top, $105 to go. Folds around to the chronic limper. He's in for five and he says, what the hell? What's another $100? He puts in the flat call. Not a good spot for Queens. Original razor folds and the caller puts in the call. Three ways to a flop. No ace or king, please. Flop comes. King, five, queen, two spades. Question is, do we check to the two players? Do we continue our story, build the pot, and put in a 65% of the pot bet? I go with the aggressive route, leaving some bluffs in our range. $210 is the bet. Original limp caller folds, and the second guy puts in the call. I'm putting him on a flush draw. Please no spade. He has about $600 behind, just under a pot size bet. Let me jam this turn. Please no spade. Please have a set of fives. Please have king queen. The turn is a nine. I hem and I haw. I can taste victory. I shove all in. He immediately says, I'm gonna need a minute. Great news. He doesn't have top set. He probably has ace ten of spades or ace jack of spades. That's fine. We can fade this. One card to come. I already told him I'm only gonna run it once. We're playing for all the dollars. He eventually flicks in the call. I show the queens and he shows king five. Two pair. No good. Let's fade the two outer. The river is a brick. We have video, we scoop a $2,000 pot. I count down my stack and guess what? We're at $2,932. I needed to profit $1,730 to secure the bank Rolex challenge. It's over, game over, $13,000 profit in a few months. Rolex, boom, right, right there. Completed. You did it. It will be a memory job, that I'll never forget. Yeah. Stay tuned for video of that. Well done. Couldn't have done it without this man right here, Brad Owen. I was there in the beginning to kick it off and uh, vlog number end, one. So very cool. That's awesome that you uh, you set that goal and you did it. So good job. Thanks, Brad. Love the videos. I replicated all of your lines. I learned a lot about cash games. I'm just a tournament player, but through imitation, I replication. Got him. Got him. No more action, guys. Oh, what a hand. That's, a, that's the flop we're looking for. <laughs> I needed 1730 coming into the. I'm about 1740. We did it. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Got him. And we're here with a fellow vlogger. What's up? What's up? Alex Duval here. How you doing? That was awkward. <laughs> oh, it's still rolling. Fuck. We have arrived at the win slash Encore property. A little 2-5, no limit Texas Hold'em game at the Encore. The 1-2, no limit at the Golden Nugget with no cap. Location, destination, Caesars Palace, 2-5, no limit, 500 max. We have arrived at the Aria Hotel, Resort, Casino, one of the finer properties in Las Vegas. Let's go to the Encore slash Wind property. Hop in a little 1-3 or 2-5 with a couple members of Next Gen Poker. Welcome to Resorts World, the newest casino in Las Vegas. Let's get in these 2-5 streets, buy in for $1,500, and win thousands of dollars. Only at the Wind slash Encore, my favorite casino in Las Vegas. 
today we're at South Point and we're gonna play some three five no limit Texas Hold'em. That's right, three five. They do it a little different around here. We decide it's time for a little two five action. Where do we want to play? I say, hey, MGM might be might have two five or right here. Let's go play some two five, guys. We arrive at Hideaway Social in Cypress, Texas, and are greeted with some Texas hospitality. Had a nice dinner with Brad Owen at Herbs and Rye. Wants to go play some Texas Hold'em at Red Rock Casino. And we are back at the win slash encore for another session of the bank rolex challenge here's an exclusive look into the dark secret world of home games we're back at the south point hotel casino we'll be going to the resorts world just in time for the first meetup game in two years and we did it unbelievable thirteen thousand dollars profit a few months a lot of different locations no huge all-ins, but didn't really need to up the variance. Slow and steady wins the race. We earned it. Shout out to Brad Owen and Andrew Nimi for putting on the magnificent meetup game at Resorts World. Check it out. Newest casino in Las Vegas, very luxurious. Appreciate everybody for joining me on this journey. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Big shout out to my editor. Put in all those sick edits. You don't know how much time goes into these things. The 24 intro, all the graphics, all the work. As always, subscribe and hit the alerts button. New vlogs coming very soon. You won't believe what I'm gonna do next. This all happened in the past, so let's fast forward to the future and realize that I now own the Datejust 41, blue face, diamond hour markers, Jubilee bracelet, and the fluted bezel. Here it is. Looking back at the past 15 or so vlogs, I realized that unfortunately they're not as action-packed as a Mariano or as a Rampage's vlog. Maybe I just take lower variance lines. Maybe I'm scared to triple barrel it off in a lot of spots. Maybe I don't make enough of those big hero call downs. I play a lot based upon board texture and historical player tendencies. If a man check raises me on the river and I don't hold the nuts, I fold. Good luck exploiting that one. Tight is right in cash games. Play good starting hands and good things will happen. Know your opponents, know your ranges, know how to navigate different board textures and what bet sizings are gonna be best. Like my man Ben Deach plays, not a very balanced strategy, but an exploitative strategy that makes him a lot of money in the Reno Pepper Mill 05 game with a bunch of OMCs and then the occasional VIP. Shout out to Ben Deach. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps out the channel a ton. Thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been epic. 16 vlogs to gain $13,000 in the elusive Date Just 41 Rolex of my dreams. Wait, no. Over this? What am I doing? Wrong hand. <laughs> Crushing it. Yeah, great. <laughs>